I'm Janos de la Cruz. I'm an artist. I'm based here in Bayasini, Montilupa City. I graduated in 2006 in the University, University of Santo Tomas, College of Fine Arts. Uh, I live with my father, he is also an artist. And the concept of the house is that um, sa, sa, sa ground floor is our studio. On the second floor is our home. So basically on, the, uh, on this floor, uh, it's our living space. This is where we interact. Dito yung napag-uusapan yung mga Oh, kamusta na araw mo? Anong bago? Oh, yan ang naparad mo sa TV. Pero when we go down sa first floor, which is in our studio, nagkakaroon ng switch na we are no longer father and son, but we are artists. So basically, when we are up here, uh, we have family bonding. But when we go down to sa studio, we are two artists creating our art. So the concept of the house is on the second floor is our home, on the first floor is our studio. I grew up in buying art. I grew up um, uh, smelling canvas, smelling newly painted canvases. My first memory ko ng bata ko is na drawing na ako. Uh, I studied in high school sa San Beda College of Alabang and that's when I actually had my first exhibition. When I graduated in high school, uh, I really didn't know kung ano gusto kong gawin sa buhay ko. I, I grew up in a family of artists, pero most of the time when you are young, you really don't want to follow your footsteps ng family mo, so you wanted to branch out. But at the same time, I have this inner calling sa buhay ko na I wanted something, to, I wanted to draw, I wanted to express myself, I wanted to paint. So I took up fine arts, pero I didn't take up painting, I took up advertising. Uh, the reason because I took up advertising is I wanted to know more on the idea of getting the attention and the visual impact of artwork to the viewer. In the course of painting, which is mostly studio-based or pagpipinta, which I've been doing for a long time. Before my time, the uh, senior artists, ngayon, I always ask them, uh, ask them how they started to be a painter. And they always tell the same story. Uh, pinagbawalan sila ng parents nila talaga. Ayaw sila maging pintor kasi walang pera sa art. Pero pinwersa nila, pinwersa nila na magtrabaho at magkawa. Pinaglaban nila yung art nila. Uh, the thing is, in my generation, I was lucky enough to be born in a time na art is already considered uh, as something that is uh, lucrative enough to make a living on. Initially, I didn't really know kung ano kung gusto ko talaga i-pursue ang art full time. I chose advertising because it is still art related. Pero at the same time, uh, I really wanted to have a choice just in case. Kasi if, uh, if I took up painting, uh, I live in a studio eh. I live in a studio with an artist. I've been viewing, I've been learning from the time I can first remember up until nag-aaral ako. So what can I learn, what can I learn in college that I couldn't learn in practice in my own home? So I wanted to, to experiment or to expound the new knowledge. Ko. So that's why I took up advertising. So after college, I actually taught in USD for one semester. Then I realized I didn't want to be stuck in a more academic setting. So I decided to uh, paint full time. Prints, mga etching siya. It's, uh, etching is. Uh, mga artworks carved uh, etched in a piece of copper plate then I put ink on it and I run it through a machine tapos pinito yung mga lumabas so nung thesis ko I told yung professors ko that this uh, this is actually my thesis pero after college I'm gonna present this as my show so true enough nung gumraduate ako ng college uh, one month or two months after graduation ko, I had my second exhibition, which is the first foray ko in actual exhibition, which is Inclusive Ball. I've had 
eight exhibitions from uh, since 2006, and my last exhibition was actually in uh, Galleriana in Mega Mall, which is uh, entitled Cabanata. mga artworks ko has been shown in New York, uh, Singapore, Abu Dhabi, uh, Taiwan, and most recently uh, in Penang, Malaysia. I actually have an exhibition uh, this December sa Malaysia. Um, yung process ko sa paggagawa ng artwork is actually a four-stage process. Ang first stage ko is usually dreaming. The idea of my work is I want to teach these to be autobiographical in nature. So each piece represents an emotional spectrum that I felt or wanted to express at that specific point in time. So basically, each piece is almost like an entry to a visual journal. So, pag natutulog ako, I, I, I actually have a tendency to always dream. Sometimes good, sometimes pangungot. What I always do is, I always put a piece of notebook on the side of my bed with the ball pen. Kasi pagkagising ko, I try to doodle or I try to patch up or draw yung naramdaman ko at that specific point in time, ba't ako nag-design? So, yung nahabol ko yung drawing. For a fact, uh, pag tayo nananaginip, for a split second, you remember the dream very vividly. Sometimes at iiyak ka, sometimes at tatawa ka pa. Pero, pag naglumampas na yung, yung moment na yun, pag tinanong ka na, ano yung napanaginipan mo? You can't remember even if you tried your hardest. You can't remember it. So, that's why I always keep a piece of notebook sa side ko. And when I wake up, I try to patch up, I try to patch it. What keeps me motivated? Um, from the time I grew up, I've always been an I, uh, introvert person. Pero I always had this extroverted want to tell a story. So, yun yung conflict ko as an artist. Very solitary in a sense that I'm always a quiet person. Most probably when I go up, I'm always quiet. I'm the quiet one on the side. But when you start asking me question, I never stop talking. What inspires me as an artist is I'm always I always wanted to be a storyteller, not in words, but mostly visually. I wanted to, to tell a story, and what motivates me is when people uh, view my work, even if you don't like it, even if you say oh I don't like it, I always ask them why. If a person doesn't like it or a person likes it, that's great. Because they had an interaction with the work long enough to have an opinion. What is scary for an artist is if they see your work and nobody has a reaction. That is, that is, lang na parang walang pake. It's better sometimes na either they love or even if they hate your work, because at least they had an emotional reaction to have an opinion. And that's what motivates me. I want to have that drive na for, person, for people to form an opinion, to form an idea with the things that I express through my art. The advice I can give is inspiration is, is a big joke. Because if you're just looking for inspiration, then you're gonna waste a lot of time doing nothing. Being an artist is creating something even if you are not inspired. Because if you're inspired, you're happy. But most of the time, if you're an artist, you're alone. You are in a state of nothingness na naka, nakatenga ka lang. So, pag ikaw pintor, you have to treat it as if you're working in a job. You're working in a company. And that company is yourself. Inspiration kasi, it's a false spot eh. If you're, if you're an artist and you, if you wait for inspiration, then magugutom ka talaga. Kasi kapag kunwari, sometimes if you're, if you're an artist, you paint even when you have nothing to say. To be an artist is actually the most hardest thing you can actually do. Kasi when you're looking for inspiration, sa ka ko inspiration when you're happy or when you have something going on in your life. But what is scary is, when you're not inspired, that is the true metal of an artist. Eh? What will you do when you are not inspired? How can you create something out of completely having, with, with having nothing? So the advice that I can give another artist is never wait for inspiration. Because inspiration only comes once every blue moon. Most of the time you have to work 
when you're sad or when you're angry. And if you just wait for inspiration when you're happy or as if para merong unique ideas sa utak mo, then most of the time you'll just be looking at an empty canvas. Art is something that is not fun. Art is something that is a calling. A calling na each person must listen or try to ignore. And most of the time, the mga practicing artists ngayon are the ones who are brave enough to fight for their dream. Because in art, the only thing that we are fighting for is to have a voice. In each voice, in each of our pieces, is a reflection of ourselves. And every time we paint something and we show it to the viewer, we give out a piece of our soul. And it is up to the viewer to say if they love or hate it. And it is up to the artist to keep fighting or keep creating their art without any hindrance or ignoring negativity or, or even empty praises. As an artist, our goal is to create an idea, to propagate that idea to the point that we can change people's lives. And that for me is being an artist.